We are Liz and Alex, and this summer we set out to complete the northern section of the Great Divide mountain bike route, starting in Jasper National Park and working our way down towards Whitefish, Montana. The Great Divide mountain bike route is the longest off-pavement mountain bike route in the world, running from Jasper National Park in Alberta, Canada, all the way down to Antelope Wells, New Mexico on the Mexican border. In 2020, we completed 1,000 miles of the Great Divide mountain bike route as complete beginner bike packers, and have since been determined to continue on this iconic route. We are about to start the Great Divide mountain bike route at the very beginning. So the Great Divide mountain bike route I always thought started in Banff but it actually starts in Jasper we realized. They had an extension so we are in downtown Jasper and we are about to get started. Not gonna lie we had a very rough start today but now it's almost four. I don't know how many miles we're gonna get in today but yeah we're in Jasper and we're gonna get started. At the Basca River, look at that. What do you think of that? It's like milky white. Dude, this water is gorgeous on this river. We're like not even a mile before we started. It's beautiful already. So beautiful. We really had a rough start to the day. Could not find a place that would let us park our van. We didn't want to leave it at the trailhead because we were worried about theft. And then less than a mile from our van, my rack falls off because I didn't have it in properly. Then I stripped one of the screws so I couldn't get it back in. So I had to go to a bike shop and they got me a new setup. Bench cycle here in Jasper. Really nice guys there. They really saved me. <laughs> We've definitely run into a bit of a problem here. This is the trail that we're supposed to take. It's the Overlander Trail. And unfortunately, it is closed due to bear activity. Apparently, some guy was out here hiking the other day and he shot a bear with a shotgun. So the bear's just wounded and they're worried that you know, being wounded, it's gonna be more aggressive. Who on earth hikes with a shotgun? Now we've got to backtrack who knows how many miles to get to the highway because we're gonna to have to just take that the whole way to Hinton. Not gonna lie, I'm super disappointed. I hear that the Overlander Trail is really beautiful. Like you're biking through these forests and by a bunch of rivers and lakes. Well, we're on the highway now. Still beautiful. Water looks like a tropical island. It's crazy. Turquoise beautifulness. For this trip, we got the larger size grail, which we really wish we had last time. It's a kind of, of a press filter, so you put water in here, push that in, and it's just easy on the go. Like I can just go fill up here at this, at this beautiful tropical looking lake. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right guys, so today has definitely been a bit of a rough start to the divide. We still managed to actually make our goal miles, which is around 40 miles. Now we have our some wild camping here, which is definitely our preference. So in Canada, they have like public land zones that you can camp. It's kind of the US equivalent of the BML, BL, BLM land. So it's like around nine. We haven't had lunch or dinner yet, which might have made it a little bit worse today. So we're gonna go make that real quick. Alex is gonna set up the tent. How you doing, honey? I threw out my back. <laughs> trying to put away the tent. So someone has to let the wife do it for once. <laughs> I'm trying not to micromanage. You are 100% micromanaging. All right, it is day two. We had kind of a rough start yesterday and we're still trying to ease our bodies into it. We're going to keep it to around 40, 43 miles today. Hopefully we can get to Rob. Threw out my back earlier, but it seems to be much better now that I took a bunch of ibuprofen and acetaminophen, so. Stretches. Yeah, well, it's probably the drugs. <laughs> so let's get going. Big, nice hell. restocking in Hinton. We've had a lot of highway biking and I think we are both very ready for some gravel and dirt. Massive looking hill ahead. We have definitely slowed down to a crawl going up this hill. Probably should have trained more. There's still tons of traffic on this road, even though we're on like an old logging road. Now they're just kicking up dust in our faces. That is an amazing view. The chain came off between my highest gear and the spokes, or I guess that's the lowest gear and the spokes, which should never happen. I probably need to adjust the limiter screw, so, but I got it out. It was really stuck in there though. We quickly learned that a large portion of the route from Jasper to Banff is one big gravel highway with vehicles passing us every couple of minutes. All right, so we made it to this nice river over here and we're gonna take a little dip because cleanliness is really important on these bike trips. You get sores all over and if you keep clean, they won't get infected and they won't get as bad. So we're gonna take a dip. It's a little bit cold. We brought some biodegradable soap to do laundry along the way, I'm trying to keep up with the liners and the buffs because they get pretty nasty pretty quick. <laughs> All right guys, so we just finished washing ourselves and some clothing. Honestly, we wish we would have done this the first time we did the thousand miles of the Great Divide mountain bike route because we definitely sometimes went, I think at one time it was seven days without even so much as a rinse off. We feel much better. Definitely gonna keep this up 
Um, and now, because it's such a gorgeous place, we're gonna have dinner here. We still have 13 and a half miles or so to our final destination goal for the day, but this is just such a beautiful campsite. How's dinner? It's good. Good thing we didn't rely on this as our store. <laughs> the map said there was a convenience store here. We are in our tent here at night. It's like almost 11 o'clock. Anyway, we're here in Rob. Literally the name of the town is Rob. We're on the property of just a hotel and we just talked to a guy outside and let us stay here, really nice guy. And we went about 45 miles today. It was a pretty good day, a little bit warm. I really hope we can get out early tomorrow because I think skipping that peak heat time is really going to be key for just like saving our energy because when you start biking around two to like five, that is just so hot at that time and tomorrow it's supposed to be hotter and I think it's supposed to be even hotter the next day, so. All right, good night. Definitely did not count for the elevation as much as we should have. 